Hi, I want to talk to you about the expository paragraph that goes along with your truth at all costs speech. So let's go over those directions really quickly here. You are supposed to outline and write an expository paragraph that explains whether or not Colvin convinced you that being a war correspondent is worth the risk. So there's the main prompt. It did Colvin convince you that being a war correspondent is worth the risk. So that's what you're replying to in this paragraph. Remember that your topic needs to be something about whether or not Colvin convinced you, because that's what your entire paragraph is about. And then whatever you say in that topic sentence, whatever you say here, everything else has to come back to that, okay? Before you start doing that, I want you to go back to your close reader close reading assignment, and evaluate the effectiveness of her argument because you're going to have to cite text evidence in your response. So what that means is you're going back to this assignment and you are reviewing what you wrote here in these prompts. So if you haven't done this assignment yet, you need to go back to that assignment first. And then you're going to come back here and you're going to say either Colvin is did convince you that being a war correspondent is worth it or not, did not convince you. Then you need to have two key, at least two key ideas that support how, why, she, reasons, details, or facts that support you being, you believing or not believing. There is a third one here that is optional. If you are, if you feel really strongly and you have three reasons why she did or did not convince you, absolutely go for it and use that third one but you don't have to. Optional means you can, but you do not have to, okay? And then don't forget, whatever your first reason is, over here you explain, explain, explain. Um, whatever your second reason is here, you then explain, explain, explain. And remember, we talked about that little kid that is always asking why, why, why? So if you say that she can, you give a reason that she, why she was convincing, then think over here, that little kid going, why? Why does that convince you? Why is that important? What does it say in the text that made you think that? Why does that piece of text make you think that? Okay, so again, explain, explain, explain. And then finally, don't forget your conclusion should go back to that topic, should wrap up your topic, okay? And then one, and remember this is Cornell style notes. All of these pieces here, these are just notes. These do not have to be in complete sentences. You're just organizing your ideas. You're organizing your thinking. You're organizing um, what you want to say. Down here is where you're going to write that out in the complete sentences. So you're going to follow your outline. You're going to use complete sentences. You're going to indent the first sentence only. This is one paragraph. There should, you should only indent the first sentence. And then you're going to color code to show me that you understand the organization that you're writing out here in complete sentences. Okay? So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot me an email or ask them. I'm at the next Zoom class. I hope that you all are doing well, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.